So, before I get into this, remember like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please click that notification bell to be notified anytime I drop a new video. And the video is I respect Aben Preach. And the reason I'm talking about this video is because for the last couple of days, there has been a lot going on into the YouTube realm of the Manosphere. Now, if you don't know what the Manosphere is, it is the new guard for red pill other individuals who are starting to look at the world differently in certain contexts but with i've been preach and fresh and fit there was some discrepancies that had occurred where i've been preach really go hard well i won't say hard they just address certain different contexts on reaction videos so they see some go down they talk about it that's just what it is well they went to the show for fresh and fit now i've watched fresh and fit i can tell you some of the things they talk about i rock with period i've had women that are around me watch it i'm talking about siblings friends whatever i have them watch it just because i want to see what their viewpoints are on it and some of the things they say are legit not knocking that trust and believe i watch what they say but there were some times that my sister and i were watching it and uh myron from fresh and fit he's known as frank castle because he kicks women off the show all of that she was like mm. he seemed like he hate women now let me be very clear i've had to watch kevin samuels Kevin Samuels, she'll watch it and she'll be like, I see what he's talking about. You know, she respects what he's saying. She ain't even tripping off of that, trying to say he hate women. But she was looking at Myron from Fresh and Fit. And she was like, no, he has a different level where he goes in on women way too aggressively. Like he's not even really trying to educate. Now, I look at the show, I've seen different aspects from it. I'm like, yo. Some of the women are mad, disrespectful, so he kicks them off the show, whatever. But there's times where he does his show where he's so adamant, where he's screaming and yelling into the mic, clapping his hands. I'm not going to do it because I don't like throwing off the vibe when I'm talking like boom, boom, boom. It's weird because I'm calm. I'm relaxed. That's what the page represents. It's peaceability. It's not chaos. So that's what I'm on. That's what the Neg Entropy Chronicles mean. Neg Entropy means the opposite of entropy. Entropy is chaos. I don't represent that. I'm very calm. So I've been preached. Did a video where they were talking about this situation where they were all involved talking about legalizing streetwalkers. And, you know. Everybody had a different viewpoint. I can do another video on that. Just let me know if y'all want me to. You can put that down in the comments. Hey, if you want it, I'll give it to you. That's what I'm about. So, they did another reaction because there were some things that went on. And it was like, their followers, Abba and Preach got 1.39 million subscribers. So, people are hitting them up like, yo, you got to react to this video. So, they was like, well, I did the video. I was on it. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at it and call it out for what it is. You got to call a spade a spade. That's what you just have to do if you're a person of integrity. You know, that's just what it is. So, goes down, having a, he, they talking about it. Well, Fresh and Fit did not like it. Trust me, go check out their page. They got their own stuff they talk about. If you watch it, you might like it. I don't knock that. I'm really rocking with it. But the stuff they were saying, they were like, yo, y'all got more followers, you know, all it is. But y'all views is kind of dropping. So because y'all brought us up, that means y'all ain't looking good. Y'all clout chasing. And the reason why Albert Preach click you know if you if you in youtube 
Let's really talk about it. If you're in YouTube, when you say things that they don't like on YouTube, they may take away your impression rates, which is the people that see your video and they click on it. This is just facts. I'm not knocking the platform. This is just how the algorithm works. This is why they always tell you like, share, subscribe, because you have to show the algorithm that your videos are worth looking at. If they're not worth looking at, they won't push it out to the masses. So if you value what people are talking about, you have to like it, share it, subscribe, click the notification bell. Because if you don't, it gets pushed to the wayside. So if you really rock with what someone is saying, you have to promote it. Even though you're not really promoting it by saying, hey, go follow this page, all of that. All you got to do is some simple things. That's why every person that does YouTube, they say do these things because it helps the algorithms for their page to bring it out to the masses. If you really rock with it, this is what you do. So they were talking about some things that the algorithm didn't like they were talking about the pandemic their views on it so when they said it the videos got blocked you know all of these things so the videos and their page started going on the downslide because if you're talking about that and you're talking about it in a way that they don't want you to talk about it they're gonna remove it i don't even know if me talking about it right now might get my video blocked i don't know but i'm still gonna put it out just because we got to talk about it honestly because freedom of speech is real if they block it you know what it is you feel me so they were like oh well your videos dropping your views ain't popping like that that's why you're going at us because we the hottest and all of this stuff we look better than you we cut our hair y'all look dusty then they bring up preachers wife say oh well she look like a beluga whale and all of that don't nobody know what his wife look like because he's married. He don't promote her like that because his page is separate from his YouTube because he's a professional. His professional life is different from his personal life. And if you're smart, that's how you function. You understand? So they said, oh, well, we'll box them. We can do this in a boxing ring if they really want to take it that route. Now, I watched the last video, so I'm going to put this up in the description box because I want y'all to really see it. I can put all four of them from the beginning to the end. Y'all can watch it, comment on what I'm talking about, and we can keep it all the way funky like two armpits. But at the end of the day, you don't mention people's family. That's just the truth for the matter. You can talk about numbers. You can do all this speculatory stuff. You can say, oh, people chasing clout. But when I've been preach went on a show, I've been preach got way more subscribers, all of that. They were way ahead of them and they got longevity. But what they did is went to the page because they thought they had integrity. All right, let me go to your page. Well, you said these things about me. Let me address them. So you said this about me. Why did you think that? But they had conversations like men. But then when the reaction video came out, they went extra screaming, yelling, clapping their hands, all of that. That's not male mentality. You, you, you dig what I'm saying? Like you don't have to go that route. The thing is, is if you want to talk, we can talk. But you don't bring in women and children. That was the rules of the game when you're talking about street mentality. You don't never bring in anything outside of the people that you're talking to. But they went very emotional, which is against the rules. And they did that. So he was like, well, we can box y'all. Preacher was like, bet what type of gloves y'all want. We can take these gloves, 16 ounce, 14, 10, all the way down to MMA gloves. I'll box both y'all one at a time. Dude said, I bet I'm with it if you give me 500K. Now... I'm going to do another video called pricing yourself out. But when you put a 500 K on some YouTube stuff, let's be real. I don't know how much I've been preaching make, even though they got over a million followers. That's irrelevant. 500 K. You are not a professional boxer. You cannot 
ask for that type of money, especially if you asked for the boxing match. Let's just keep it real. If I say I want a boxing match, I'm not asking for money. I just want to throw hands. That's what it is. I keep boxing gloves in my house and in my trunk. Why do I keep them? I don't know. You know, I like my exercise, but that's neither here nor there. But you never talk about a man's wife and then say, oh, well, we can box it out and then ask for 500 k That's That's nonsense. But then... When it came down, when Preach accepted it, then they backed out of it. Now, once again, I'm going to keep these in the descriptions, but I got asked about it. And I was like, no, the boxing match is never going to happen. Why? Well, because we're talking about business. If they lose, they can't handle the platform like they've done over time. Then, if they win, they're just violent individuals. They were in a lose-lose situation. You feel me? So, we got to keep it all the way real and keep it funky like two armpits. Their emotions got out of hand. And now they're seeing the repercussions from it. They apologize, but they never apologize to him directly. They just said, well, we never should have said anything about this about a dude's wife. But all the energy before it was different. Oh, well, no, they apologize later on no you did it after you realized your numbers was falling you feel me that's not legit <clears throat> you should have actually talked to that man directly because we talking about man stuff now we ain't talking about youtube stuff we talking about you bringing up men's wives things like that that's more direct you gotta be if you was being direct on that you gotta be direct you mentioned if i had a wife you mentioned my wife you gonna see me and that's the rules of the game you know so if you want me to to talk more about this let me know in the description in the comment section because man i'm not being gossipy but we gotta really start talking about manhood like judge joe brown say we gotta talk about all of these things where emotions are not allowed to control the man that we exist as you understand so let me know what you think in the descriptions and well in the comments i got all of the videos in the description we're gonna get this stuff popping let me know what's going on all right everybody